Hello, dinner. Oh, hi. <laughs> um, so, oh, I've got a little bit of an unboxing for you guys. Um, so let's open it up. And thank you to so-and-so for sending a uh, set of radios for the channel so that we can do testing and teardowns. Here we go. And of course, out comes the box opener. Let's see here. How do we open this? All right. You know, one of the cool things about being single is that nobody can tell me that I can't have weapons anymore. All right, what do we got here? All right. Come out, come out, whatever you are. What do we got here? Oh, cool. Are these the, uh, these are the LHG 60s. Ah, yes. Okay, so we've got a set of LHG 60s here. I think I can put the camera up just a little bit. There we go. So yeah, this is gonna be cool, which means I'm gonna do an assembly video on these then. This is really neat. Oh, okay. That's neat. Thank you so much for contributing. I think this goes in, oh, it clicks in like that. I see. We'll do an assembly video. This is very, very cool. Uh, we're gonna be using these for some testing because uh, one of you guys, um, who's a, a channel sponsor and a awesome help to the community, has written up a script um, that allows us to do better carrier drop detection uh, handling, like a better function, I guess you would call it, mechanism, than other manufacturers is a script that'll run on these guys. So we're gonna be testing that shortly. So I was mentioning that I needed to borrow a set of 60s to uh, test this on and do some work with. And uh, one of you guys was kind enough to order a set for me. So this is gonna go in the RF lab in the backyard and we're gonna screw around with it. It's gonna be a lot of fun. I really look forward to this. So there we go, look at that. A set of... Uh, LHG 60s. Isn't that neat? Look at these things. I, I, I made a little joke a little while ago that these guys could actually be, uh, it almost looks like a uh, cog piece. Is it a cod piece? Cog piece? Here we go. Oh, my gut's coming back. It's been so cold lately. I haven't been outside. Let me suck it in. There we go. So, there. See? Huh? 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 You can use it as a jock strap, too. I guess you can strap it on. Well, wait, there's side pieces, too, that go on this, aren't there? Oh, there are. Let's see here. Oh yeah, see? It's a nice little bikini piece, right? I don't know. Yeah, fuck it. Let's just assemble it. I think that it involves me clicking this in like so. Let's see here. There we go. So that goes in there like that. And then there's a couple of screws that go in here. Clearly. Where are my screws? Ah, oh, there they are. And I'll just grab my Phillips screwdriver. Uh, Phillips for electronics and Robertson for woodworking. You know that the Robertson screwdriver is Canadian, right? I think I'm putting this together in the wrong order, by the way. We'll find out in a minute. Doodly doo doo. Fuck off. Let's see here. And then this guy here. Ah, oh, that's cool. Okay, so this guy, you can either pole mount it. Look, it's got your bracket there for pole, or you can side mount it. I don't know if I'm going to need. That is interesting. Oh, zip ties. You know what? I think I want to use the precision mount or the precision er mount on it. So we'll, we'll use this. Let's see here. Oh, it's Allen keys. Cool. Well, if this thing takes Allen keys, I will need to get some Allen keys. Help! I need tungsten to live. Tungsten. A little trick somebody once uh, taught me is when you drop something, wait and listen closely to where it goes. Don't go chasing it, and then it's easier to find it. <laughs> here we go. All right, so I've got my handy dandy uh, hex bits here. I think this one looks like it takes one of these. Let's uh, let's assemble this thing now. So I'm gonna take this guy here, and where's my plate? Where did I put the plate? I'm struggling to do this on camera, you know. I'm doing this for you guys. Cool. And then I can use my screwdriver. Oh, I did it in the wrong order, didn't I? I should have actually put this on last, but I wonder, 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 wonder. I might be able to pop this off and um, no, we're not going to do that. Um, <laughs> read the <laughs> manual, right? There's a reason why that uh, RTFM term exists. So now I got to get something in here. It's either that or I need to get my Phillips out and unscrew this, but this is easier. There we go. Ah. 
There we go. Almost got it. Why does that feel like it's cross-threaded, but it's not? Let's back that off for a second. It's not cross-threaded. It's going in there nice and easy until the very end. Just have to give it a little bit of a force. I think that might be some Loctite on there. There, okay, so that's all in there now. That's all together. It's nice and tight. These screwdrivers are very well designed, by the way, because when you're holding them, when you're driving, this part spins. So you're holding it actually with your, uh, the upper part of your hand like this, and then you're twisting here. So you're ratcheting using your hand. It's a really cool mechanism. That's neat. All right. So let's get this guy on here now. Here we go. An LHG60. What does the manual say? Quick mount, aim. Oh, there's an aim thing that goes on this too? Cool. Oh, that's what that's for, I see. So, oh, here it is right here in the box, cool. So this is a little aiming guide. So I guess this goes on here like so. Hey, that's really cool. So I can like look through this. It's got like a little um, iron sight that you can actually plug into here. Isn't that cool? So you can use that for helping you get your alignment. That's awesome, because these are very precise, and we'll see that shortly. All right, cool. So what else comes in this uh, box? We've got a uh, gigabit PoE injector. These things are great for so many different things. And what kind of power pack comes with it? 24 volts, 0.38 amps. Not very much. Not much to these little guys. They're kind of cute. Cool. So there we go. Uh, another toy for the lab. This is going to go in the outdoor lab. And in fact, I'm going to make sure to mark it with uh, zero lab because once something's part of the lab, it's going to remain a part of the lab. Especially when people are kind enough to donate this stuff. Here we go. Lab only. This is now lab equipment. <laughs> I'm gonna have quite the advanced RF lab out there at some point, it's gonna be neat. So there you go guys, little, uh, little donation from one of our awesome viewers, thank you so much. And I'd like to also thank all of our Patreons for uh, helping out make the channel possible because without you guys, it wouldn't be possible. Um, and don't forget to like and subscribe. Um, if you guys wanna help, Join the Patreon. We have the Miss Fix It Facebook page, Instagram, and TikTok. Uh, I'm trying to post things on those things and the Twitter and all that wonderful stuff. It's just so much, so much stuff to keep track of. It's uh, almost like I need some kind of a social media manager or something to handle it. But anyway, I digress. Back to the point. Is yes, thank you guys for helping out, and I will continue trying to make some awesome content for you. And also, we have a new editor now. Um, as our old editor is focusing on school now, our new editor is actually uh, another Canuck like me and is doing an awesome job on the videos. I'm sure you guys noticed uh, the improvement in the video quality and um, the production equipment has improved. Thank you guys, because thanks to all you guys, we're able to get better cameras and whatnot. So awesome. Thanks guys. We are rocking forward with 2022. Let's hope that 2022 is not a giant steaming turd. Love you guys.